been a heck of a game so far. We're in the bottom of the ninth with two outs, an 0-2 count rest on Detroit. Here comes the pitch. Fouled off, chased a wide one. One and two is the count. Detroit's game-winning run sits on third after pulling off a play for the history books. A risky double steal. Nobody's been able to swipe a bag from this defensive powerhouse all season, but Detroit has cracked their code. The runner on third is taking a generous lead off the bag. The pitcher throws over. It's bobbled! Runner's making a break for home! It's gonna be close! He's... he's... Good evening. Oh, don't ruin the show, Francis. Am I, uh... Interrupting something, Jensen? How'd you know where to find me? I know you like to think you're off the grid these days, but I am the one who programmed your Infolink's GPL tracker. Back when I used to work for Sarif. We don't work for Sarif anymore, Francis. Be that as it may. And I distinctly remember telling you never to ping my location again. Except in an emergency. That's how I remember you saying it. A year ago, when the rest of the world thought you were dead and I helped you get out of Alaska, in fact, I seem to recall you adding, and I quote here, I really owe you one, Pritchard. I don't recall saying it quite like that. Well, it just so happens there's something in Prague that I need your help with. Tonight. Kind of busy. Investigating TF-29, I know. But if you help me with this, we're even... I promise. Fine. What do you need? I've been hired to vet a company. A freelance job. Someone in Prague was helping me, but, uh... He's gone radio silent. <laughs> you mean he stopped taking your calls? I tracked the GPL signal on his phone to a bar named Zatopek. Now, I don't know if he's alive or dead. He could have been robbed or decided to get drunk. The only thing I know for sure is that he is jeopardizing my assignment. Why do I get the feeling you're doing more than just vetting a company? He goes by the name Slaw. I need you to find out what happened to him. Send me the address of the bar. Sure, but... <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Wow, Jensen is... Really lively when dealing with Pritchard. That's probably the most lively we've seen Jensen, honestly. You know, before, at least while he has his Ogs. Beforehand, he was also a bit lively when he was with Meg. But they're not together anymore, anyways. Oh, hey, we got in the non augmented people one this time. And they judged me. I like how dramatic that intro was. The fucking going, zooming around, and Jensen, all the as I tried credits. To tell you <laughs> before you cut me off, you need to be careful. Zatopek Bar is in a pocket of Prague that doesn't take kindly to augmented people. An alley off Klimova Street. They're known to get violent there. Are you warning me because you're concerned for my well-being or because you need me for this job? Just watch yourself, Jensen. The Restoration Act is a waste of time. It will be a non-issue for the next generation. To me, you people are people. You're a cool civilian! Alright, let me check my inventory. Oh god, no! I don't have a non-lethal weapon! Actually, wait, no, wait, sorry, sorry. I saw the combat rifle, and my mind automatically processed this as a silenced, uh, pistol. It's just a stun gun. We're good, we have a non-lethal method. Uh, so it's just like the last DLC, it's starting us off with... ...a bunch of Praxis to apply, and most of the upgrades not equipped, just the base stuff. So once again, I'm gonna have to just go for, like, hacking. This time I won't go for stealth, because I don't need to waste three practice on that, on a super short DLC. Um... I didn't actually end up using any of the crafting parts from last time, which is my bad! My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. But let's see what we can accomplish. I'm actually, I'm happy that this time around, it seems like we might end up in a hub world? We'll see. Before we go anywhere, though, let's, let, let's actually... Let's get my augmentations. Okay, so, we didn't really have as many points as we did last time. I think we had 15 points when we started off in the, the last DLC. But that's fine. I went for hacking, of course. I did put a couple points into my arm things because, hey, we're at the very start and maybe I'll find some walls to punch through. Or at least I'll be able to stack some things to help me out or get them out of my way. Uh, we didn't start off with smart vision, so I had to put a couple points into that. Three points, I guess, specifically. So that way I could see through walls and then also see 
uh, special items, which is nice. Oh, hey, that's cool. I didn't actually look at the preview video for this entirely. It shows you the difference between it. That's cool. But we should be generally good as long as I make sure to keep on using my stun gun, which I will assign to one. And we're probably never going to use the combat rifle, so I have no need to assign it to anything else. But we're going to go ahead and check out this place. Stop talking about social justice warriors. I, I, social justice warriors. I'm wondering when this takes place. I wish it would just let me know. We have... We have... Um... Trace program initiated. We have access to our... Our hidden augments. I'm gonna disconnect. Okay. We have access to our hidden augments, so this means this is taking place sometime after the start of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. It's scary hacking things, but I don't have like a ton of stop worms or things. Holy crap. Okay. To all employees, a situation at Terminal Station involving the threat of a suspicious package is ongoing. I ask that you refrain from speaking to anyone in the press of um, mentioning it on social media at this time. Okay, yeah, it's, this is definitely after the bombing, I think. There will be a periodic delays in service going in from Bla uh, going to and from Blade Plaza for the next couple of hours. This is for routine track maintenance, sm uh, small renovations, and signal tests. Or maybe I'm just making an assumption. I don't know. Oh, this is really close. I'm definitely fortifying. Access granted. Oopsie. That's fine. I don't need absolutely everything. Now, what do we have in here in the train station that would be beneficial to me? I can turn off the security, but it, there's no real need to. But hey! Any little option that can help, right? What do they keep locked up in this train station? The last train station that we, we rummaged through had a bunch of weapons sitting on standby. Look at all this. Look, crap. Oh, and of course there's a vent that I could have used to circumvent having to hack through things. But I don't have a super high jump, so I don't know if I would have even been able to get up here. Unless there's an entrance from this side? Nope, not this time around. Okay! Let's head into the city. I have no idea where we're gonna be. I guess we could look at this. I have no idea where we are. <laughs> that map didn't really help. Yeah, of course you're gonna fucking ask for my shit. This is getting to be a real pain. Okay. Žádný problémy? Thanks, bro. Okay, where are we today? This is not the Palisade property bank? Oh. It is the Palisade Blade Lady. Then, where the hell is the bank? I do not know the exact stop. You have to look at the metro guy. Thank you, officer. Is it confusing on purpose? I do not know, ma'am. I do not have the money to put anything in either of them. <laughs> Blade and Bank? I cannot be the only person confused by them. I'm a little confused by them sometimes too. so late for my meeting and I have to go through more checkpoints? Kurva! <laughs> so this isn't part of the main hub areas. This is a side off place. This is the Palisade Blade, not the Palisade Bank. In case you were confused. Move along. So we're on the other side or we're further along in Prague. Actually next to the giant weird looking fucking thing. Oh, it's partially submerged in the water. I just figured it was attached to the land. Would have advice. Don't go hanging around the red light district. It's a That's where I'm gonna have to go to next in the main story! If you're looking for that great bar owned by an augmented chap, it's moved it. Hmm. Alright. So where the hell oh wait. The great bar. Isn't that here? Let me look at my mission. Uh, go to the Zadopec bar. Daitaga. We are opening soon. So this used to be... the place we're looking for. Oof. Let's ask this homeless person. Hey! 
máš kliku. Neznám moc augů, co by dneska nebyli na ulicích nebo v Golemu. I guess I'm lucky to have a job that keeps me out from Golem City. Oh wait, it put me right there directly, just not for living. All my movie ideas. The blades are for important files that actually need protection. My ideas need protection. People in Hollywood keep hacking into my cloud to steal my drafts before I can finish them. Well, have you considered not storing your ideas in the cloud? At least there would be no danger of them getting made into real movies. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> With everything digital today, how can people expect their emails and files to ever be safe? Well, in a lot of scenarios, you could just... Keep your files in an offline server thing for yourself. Just buy a computer, never hook it up to an Ethernet cable or something. The only real way to keep things private is with good old fashioned pen and paper. Shame it's so expensive. Yeah. I mean, obviously, both methods can be a little bit expensive. Pen and paper, I guess if you're in the future, <laughs> pen and paper isn't super expensive nowadays. But you can store things pen and paper, or you could get a crappy, like, $300 computer that's only purpose is to have hard drives used for storing stuff. Again, it's a good way to keep things safe. Everyone should be allowed to have digital secrets that no one can hack into. I should write a screenplay about Oshiro and Talwa creating the blades, but always in the news. <laughs> it would have to be a very, very, very interesting screenplay. I mean... There have been plenty of great movies of kind of boring concepts when you really think about it. Like, oh, here's the creation of Facebook. Oh, man. I really need to get into that. Although I've never watched that movie. I've just heard good things about it. Oh, I can hack into the air. What am I doing? Access granted. All right, so this used to be the bar, I assume. So I'm gonna have to check out the basement. Because all bad things occur in the basements, right? Detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Alright, Mrs. Wotolski. We wanted to take this time to wish you the best of luck getting everything ready. First off, congratulations on getting your holographic system up and running. It is a big and important step on the roadmap to the grand opening. We are proud to have you as the franchise owner of our first Converse Cafe in the Czech Republic. Your work with the Warsaw and Vienna openings were nothing short of spectacular. We now have high hopes and even higher expectations. Our lawyers are finalizing the last rounds of contracts now. The Czech privacy law minutiae uh, took us longer than expected to be ironed out. We're sorry for this delay and have adjusted our financial targets accordingly. Good luck and we look forward to having our lo location launch conversation with you next week. Hey, what is this? Alright. As you may remember, early in the year we promised to let you know as soon as we had news to share about our financial restructuring. Today we would like to give you an important update about the steps we are taking to position Converse Cafe for the future. We reached an agreement with our lenders on a restructuring plan that will reduce our debt by more than 700 million dollars, holy shit! The changes will not impact franchise owners who own less than 10 physical locations. The new revenue sharing plan will strengthen our build, build momentum, or uh, strengthen our brand, build momentum and improve growth. Neat. Okay, and they have a whole bunch of places opening up. Hey, Detroit, Salt Lake City, United States represent. And we have some other places like Venezuela, Japan, and the Czech Republic, where we're at right now. So what's so special about this cafe? We have this water looking shit that looks kind of cool. I don't know why it's active already, but neat. Is the bottom part going to look any bigger? I, I don't know. This is just like a really tiny place. It's called a holographic cafe, though. Maybe... Maybe they just provide tables and things, but then just show a whole lot of shit through holograms. I mean, that'd be pretty cool, and that would explain how come it would be such a... an interesting side venture. But we'll see. So what's going on down here? I and mean, I'm, you know, obviously I'm just making an assumption that this is... the place we're looking for. Because it's a cafe, and... The bar's gone. Okay. We got the breaker on. I want to see what this place does. 
<laughs> man. Holograms are cool, man. Even if at the moment in real life they're kind of disappointing. Well, I can't wait for them to come here and be like, "Why? Why is the holographic system on? Why are we? Why did we just lose like hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of one night? All these electricity bills." All right, so that wasn't the place we're supposed to go for. I'm sick of tours. I'm sick of you. It's a building filled with rich people's secrets. Who cares? Care? Well, I don't give a shit about the things inside. Well, I mean, I guess I do. In game, I want to find out what they've got going on. But that's just a cool-looking building. If I was visiting Prague and they had something like that, I'd probably check it out and be like, "Whoa!" Especially at night. In the daytime, it's kind of meh. But at nighttime, that's a cool sight. Cities always look badass at night. Prague used to be a nice and relaxing place. Not anymore. I can't believe someone went crazy with a gun here and ruined the lives of so many people. What are you talking about? But you'll never hear about it on any tourist kiosk. That's for sure. Bet you were dishing out pain during the incident instead of receiving it. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I was dishing out pain. I shot. The British people, guards man. do not like it when people get close, especially orbs. Stay out of trouble. This is not a checkpoint. I do not need your papers. Move along. All right. Can I go underneath here? Oh. Oh, that's trespassing. Should be careful about that, because I don't think I'm supposed to be breaking into the bank just yet. This place does feel creepy in the evening. Really? I mean, I guess the architecture around it does. It explains why this place is not filled with more tourists. No, the place in the three events place is not filled with more tourists because this place is a shithole. You can see Yoshiro and Dalar. The blade is like Fort Knox. They do not let people just walk in. What is Fort Knox? It is where America keeps all of its gold. The information inside the blade is priceless. See the guys with guns? This area is off limits. Okay, we are moving. See what I mean? <laughs> His lips moved when she said stuff. I hope the catch river is really behind the station bombing. Alright, there's a confirmation. Definitely after station bombing. inside of the blade. It is so stupid. They should let people in. Why? It's a fucking private security firm. I think Oshiro and Dalvar are geniuses. They figured out how to make money from doing nothing. Yep, keeping digital secrets safe in a massive structure is definitely doing nothing. <laughs> My best friend has similar hands, but yours look way more expensive. You must have paid your way out of those cities for augmented people. No, I just kind of just didn't end up in one. There used to be orcs who owned businesses here. What they have done to augment the people is inhuman. I like these civilians in this area. They have more rational head. Now with that said, I'm gonna steal from the police. Oh shit. Yeah, grenade launcher. Okay, naturals only. I wanna see how they react to me. Stop right there, Hanser! I need to see your papers. This doesn't look like a checkpoint. And you don't exactly look like a police officer. And you do not look like someone who is going to pull out a guitar to sing songs about peace and love. Papers You're not wrong. Now. Uh... <laughs> look, civilian. I'm an official Interpol business. I don't know if I should divulge that. You really think you have what it takes to stop an AUG? Step inside our territory and we will find out. Oh, really? Oh, fucking really? Sure, why not? First off, enjoy the blades in your chest. Guess we found out! Whoops, hurt myself. That's fine. We have health things. I should do three. Oh, whoops. Four, five. Hello? Oh, hey! Oh, I'm out of grenades already. Whoopsie! I guess I should be a little bit more careful about things. You have a grenade. Oh, that's me. Whoops. My eyes! Oh, I fucked up! Don't, don't 
don't take advantage of that, you fucking naturals. I will admit, bullets do hurt, but that's only because I'm not augmented for dealing damage. I'm augmented to hack things peacefully. I have a friendly guy inside the bar. Alright! I did it! I hope it was worth it to threaten an AUG who has a grenade launcher. Oh hey, they're actually called anti-AUG extremists. That's funny. I guess I should have tried to find a way around them. Oh! Oh no! That was not an expected thing! That really was not! <laughs> uh, okay. We're gonna load. Um, we're gonna load the quick save because I kind of threatened them, and that's not exactly what I'm trying to do. So I want to see what kind of results will happen if I talk to them in different manners. Uh, I can divulge them with Interpol and see where that gets me, or I can just be like, hey, all right, I guess I won't mess with you, and then I just go around them and knock them out one by one. Which is probably what I was gonna do anyways. All right, divulge. Look, civilian, I'm on official Interpol business and I need to speak to someone in the bar, Zadabek. And I want to live in a world where all Hansers are dead. Looks like we are both going to have to wait for what we want. Now fuck off. This is an AUG free zone and we will shoot any AUG who enters even the ones who claim to be working for Interpol. Tell your boss to send someone who is not a Hanser. What the f <sighs> It's not my fault! It's not my fault! Why- why do they have to be so- so mean? You know? Why do they have to be that way? Okay, I'm backing off. All right, I can see you're serious. I'm not looking to cause any trouble. You better not. This is an AUG free zone. And we will shoot any AUG who enters before they decide to go crazy again. Now get out of here. You know, your eyes are red, and that has me questioning whether or not you're really a natural. You know? Oh, hey, they have a sniper up there. That's cute. That's really, really cute. Rucker's book is too boring. Where did you stop? The chapter about his thoughts on the AUG incident. That is where most people stop reading. It was so preachy. He really wants to be the savior, no? I think he is sincere. The book gets better. I finished the whole thing. Did someone pay you to do that? <laughs> no. An ex-girlfriend made me read it. I do not know how you can have Dr. Rucker as your leader. I don't- the, Not every AUG is underneath Rucker. He writes like he thinks he's a god. I like Talos Rucker's book. He makes a good point about human nature. Ugh, right, okay. Well, considering- I'm gonna go ahead under the assumption that... This is before we head to Gollum City, and that Talos Rucker is still alive. Because otherwise they'd be like, oh, that's a shame that he's dead. I am not getting into an AUG debate with an AUG. That is close enough, Clank. Your fumes are making my eyes bleed. <sighs> These people are so ridiculous. The Restoration Act is a waste of time. It will be a non-issue for the next generation. Jardin problem. To me, you people are people. I hate dealing with these people. They're ridiculous. All right, so. I'm sure that there's probably, like, a vent or something that can get me into that area. Do I have a multi-tool? Not really. I'm gonna do this real quick, just so I have those on standby for me. Uh, do I have enough crafting parts for multi-tool? Nope. Fuck. I can hack this. The problem is... Cops. <laughs> cops will ruin my fun. What the hell? So there's gotta be some area that I can go to... 
without getting in trouble, or I could just try and hack as soon as as soon as possible. What's going on in here? Huh? What do we got behind this box? Crafting parts. Just crafting parts. Ah, I was hoping it'd be like a weapon crate or something. <gasps> multi-tool! Good. Alright. I mean, I don't really want to use a multi-tool for a one... <laughs> ...security rating door. That's kind of a waste, but we'll see. This is where it would have been really good if I- if I had invisibility. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. As long as I hack- uh oh. Doing the sights? Yeah! To-to-to-to-to-totally! really liking what I, uh... <laughs> What I can see. I own this place. You, you you didn't see anything crazy happen. Oh jeez. What the fuck is up with all these guns? Jesus. The game is just like, oh, hey, you want to go loud? Here's like five different weapon types right from the get go. I've got a grenade launcher, a combat rifle, a shotgun. Jesus. Oh, here's a place I can enter. But you see what I mean? Fucking hacking gets me in trouble in the streets. Holy wide. Trace program initiated. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay. I'm gonna hack this direction first. Shit. I was gonna try hacking here, but I guess we can't do that yet. Yeah, we have to go really far to get all this stuff. Okay. Whew! Alright! Oh, oh, God! Jesus, what's going on here? <laughs> that was scary. I don't think my, uh, my GPU's having a good time here. Alright. Package hold 1A! Cheers! I'll be out of town for the next two weeks because of this damn bombing. Please hold all of my packages until I get back. Okay. Uh, hello all! No internal weeding, uh, window cleaning for 3A or 3B is required. We will do it ourselves. To all tenants, we must inform you that next week the maintenance crew will be present at all our, our buildings for the annual internal and external weeding window cleaning of all apartments. We ask you to clear the access to the window ledges for them to wash the windows. Uh, please, please, please don't clean our places. We want to do it ourselves. That's suspicious. Alright. Hello Patrick, this is the updated list of the registered tenants here at 33 Klamova, Prague. So, 3A and 3B are all bo uh, both belong to Marta Romanowski. Intriguing. Jiri Janice, that's intriguing. We know a Janice. Hacker Janice. We're gonna go check that out. And we're gonna hope that this place leads out into the back area. Whew, this is dangerous. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Alright. We're gonna look at everybody's available apartments. If they allow us to, a lot of these are gonna probably be locked off. This is a backdoor area to where we wanna go. Wow. 